Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge group. This is our weekly meeting for those who are doing the Essence of Knowledge program or the Path of Knowledge program. This meeting is for questions and answers. If any, you can ask me. And uh, if you are facing any problems or any doubts in the program, we can clear it in the meetings. Anoop has a question. Can the experiencer be experienced? Concluding from the lessons, if what if that happens, experiencer itself becomes experienced. But is this experience possible? Like you said, only something which is an object can be experienced. And the experiencer is not an object. This is the first thing we learn about the experiencer. That the experiencer is not like any other object. For example, screen and picture. Can the screen be seen in the picture? You can think about like this. Where can I find the screen in the picture? And immediately you can see that actually the screen is not in pictures. If you start looking in the pictures, you won't find any screen. But it is the background of all the pictures. Whatever appears on the screen, it is actually appearing in the screen itself. So it is actually everywhere, not at one place. And uh, the pictures keep changing, but the screen is always the same. The pictures have colors, dark, white, and like this. But the screen is always the same. It is colorless. So experiencer is actually everywhere. In all the experiences, it is present. But it is a background of that. Whatever is appearing. Probably you are trying to find is that. Let me find the experiencer as something in front of me. As other things are appearing, why can't the experiencer also appear to me? But uh, then the experiencer will be the one to whom that thing is appearing. You are the experiencer. And if something is appearing in before you, that means that is not you. So where do we want to find the experiencer? It is always present as a background of all the experiences. Everything that appears is actually appearing in the background of the experiencer. And this is the most direct experience. You can say that uh, uh, if you see an object or if you feel a feeling or if you perceive a thought in your mind, they are all coming through some system, sensory system, mind, brain, whatever. But what do we need to know the experiencer? Nothing. It is not based on any senses, not based on any system. So this is most directly experienced. But we cannot call it the experience. Like we experience something else, we cannot say. I experience myself. I am myself. Yes, that is the correct uh, sentence. I am always here. It is self-evident. What you are is already evident. You don't need to find it somewhere. Because then who is finding? Who is trying to see? It is already here. So always think of the experiencer as a field, not as an object which you will find somewhere. Another thing is the objects, thoughts, imaginations, everything, emotions. They all come and go. They keep coming and going. Like something appears and disappears. But uh, if the experiencer is an object of sense, then it will also appear and disappear. And that is impossible. Because to whom it will appear and to whom it will disappear. We never see it like this. So it never appears and never disappears. We say it does not change. So it is the unchanging background of experiences. Not really something which can be found in somewhere in some kind of experience. Because who will witness that strange experience of experience coming in front and then disappearing? It is impossible. It is always better to think of experiencer as not having qualities which the objects have. It has no qualities of any object. And actually it has no qualities at all. And that is why senses are not involved here. Because senses can perceive the qualities. Color, shape, hot, cold, good emotion, bad emotion, happiness, sadness, positive thoughts, negative thoughts. There is nothing like this in the experience. So senses are incapable of giving you any knowledge of the experiencer. As soon as there is a quality, again, you can say, look, this quality is there. It is pure. It is brilliant. It is self-illumined. But uh, then it will become some kind of experience which the senses are catching. And it will come back to the experiencer itself, which is without quality. So screen and picture metaphor is best. Here you can add one thing in the metaphor. The screen itself is the witness. Right now, you, when I say screen and picture, 
you are the witness of screen and picture but imagine you are the screen that is the witness of the pictures now it is exactly like this right now right here you are the screen invisible everywhere the screen is there and on the screen the pictures are appearing it is exactly like this which experience will show you that there is an experiencer all experiences show only one thing that something is experiencing them because without this experiencer nothing will be experienced it is the definition of the experiencer that it is the one that experiences that witnesses whatever appears in existence so it is present in all experiences but not as an experience not as an object it is a presence that's all so don't go to words go to what is right now check what is right now isn't there a infinite screen shapeless sizeless weightless immaterial on which all these imaginary pictures are coming which senses are producing that is all there is if you start thinking about it it will become something imaginary we call it ignorance then there are projections on it that experience is coming through senses i am the body which is experiencing there is a world outside and i am thinking no all these are projections all these are incorrect uh, assumptions on what is simply pure experience in a presence so you will not know the experiencer by going somewhere by finding something by as by some strange state of mind you will know the experience by removing whatever these projections are saying you are removing the avidya to bring forward the vidya this is a sanskrit word avidya means ignorance and then the vidya means which means the knowledge comes forward so the knowledge is simply removing whatever you thought about it that's all after coming on the path of knowledge you will need to change your way of thinking and way of saying talking because the intellect is habitual of thinking about objects now you will need to see that actually there are no objects and then the words will be purified shiva is saying i cannot pay attention because i am worried about future in general so i can give you a practical answer that whatever is your worry you take care of it first you can save for the future you can remove whatever obstacles are there make your future secure first then you will be able to pay attention to the spirituality spirituality is not a solution for practical problems a seeker comes on a spiritual path when all their problems are gone when there is nothing major to worry about then they will be able to concentrate on the teachings what is brahman what is maya what is illusion these things become interesting only when nothing interesting is left in the world when the worldly things are taken care of so solve your problems first then you will be able to progress in spiritual faith. in some other path we'll say that mooladhar swadishthan these parts of the mind they need to be in perfect balance they should be healthy working then only the higher levels of the mind they start activating if you are hungry if you are insecure if people are troubling you relation then who has the time to worry about who am i what is the meaning of life what is this existence what is next birth what is next death nobody has interest in this nobody has time for this spiritual things because you see these are the highest like in kundalini path or samadhi path we say we should be agya sahasra you cannot reach there if the bottom is dysfunctional so your worry is an indicator that there is insecurity that is the mooladhar the bottom most layer of which is taking care of this organism life body that is dysfunctional uh, this what is this organism doing basically most basic things because mool means base base check it is doing uh, uh, eating and uh, defending procreation these three things survival in one world you can say survival growth procreation and defense so what is happening is the defense part is uh, has some problem worry means some kind of fear so there is the defensive mechanism is active it is not happening proper so your first duty is not atman brahm the first duty of a seeker is to satisfy the basic needs i can tell you that look it is all illusion whatever is the present whatever is happening in present is also illusion future is double illusion it is simply thoughts in the mind future is not an experience which you are having right now so they are imaginary thoughts i can tell you this thing. but the lower layer has no intelligence to understand the lower layers they want security they want procreation 
they want food in the stomach they want emotional balance happiness and then the heart layers get a chance to know something so this is my advice you can continue in the program but meanwhile uh, the life is the biggest program your life <laughs> is the biggest opportunity for learning so do whatever is required to fix the situation then you will progress nicely what can happen is you can ignore that future thing and you can still progress but it will come back again the ignorance will the darkness will come back again because the lower was not taken care of it was ignored suppressed so then the organism becomes worried even doubly spirituality will not give any kind of support to the lower layers because they have nothing to do with truth nothing to do with the wholeness their survival is dominating force so that's why in some parts they go from bottom to top they purify the bottom first bottom layers and when they are satisfied the top becomes active because there is nothing to worry about nothing to think about nothing to do also is everything is taken care of now you will find the art emerges singing dancing painting and then science emerges exploration adventure invention hardware software like this machines then even higher spiritual stuff tantra emerges hacking the illusion science of the non physical and even higher my real nature my true nature that emerges comes up, comes out so what our path is doing we are targeting people who are actually at that level we filter out the people who are not ready for this because they won't have any interest and even if you tell them look this is like this everything is illusion there is no time time is an illusion there is no future why are you worried they won't actually understand it because i am in this field i talk to thousands of people and i know this is the case this is almost like a law in the nature those who are not ready will not understand how much ready you should be in the physical domain you don't need to be king or queen or president not a millionaire or billionaire nothing you don't need to be like an athlete perfectly fit like a genius scientist no all the layers of the mind all the functions of the mind body should be healthy that's all is needed so that you can sit peacefully you can listen to the lectures you can talk to guru and uh, without any worry without any problems without anything to attend to extra so what we do is we actually reduce things so that we don't need to attend to these we fix our future whatever is needed for future for 2 3 years at least in future we fix our relations and all minimize everything we fix our jobs we do some simple jobs even if the money is less we don't run after the jobs so that this organism becomes specified it becomes happy calm and quiet because you know the needs of the human being are very less your society has corrupted it because they have nothing to do so they keep doing the survival you need only one pair of shirt and pants but because there is nothing else to do for the people one more pair one more shirt now expensive shirt now 20 expensive shirts so what do they do <laughs> they remain at the lower because there is no path there is no guru nothing so what we do we go in reverse we do not discard the physical or the mental or emotional parts we satisfy them minimally that is why you must have seen that minimalism is a quality of a seeker actually on the path of knowledge we are not very minimalistic like not sanyasi living on streets we are living in very nice houses we have all the comforts so we are accumulating probably three or four times more than needed so that the ego is satisfied does not produce all these negative emotions not negative thoughts fear or danger we fulfill the duties of the duties of being a human jarna has a question in existence many things are there should we try to know more about it should human beings need experiment of existence like chandra yan 3 see uh, the illusion part of the existence is infinite probably we don't even understand the meaning of being infinite it is not possible for our mind to comprehend what the infinite means so let us take if there are 10000 things in the illusion a uh, human mind is capable of understanding one Pro- proportional you can say like this example because probably our mind understands the concept of 10000 or 1 lakh 1 crore we can understand one out of these so there are many things should we try to know all of it first it is impossible human being is small second do we really need to know this because for our benefit 
survival we need to know certain things how to cultivate food how to make clothes how to make shoes <laughs> how to make cars and planes these are needed second point is we should know all that which is necessary you should take that kind of education so that you can get a job job means money money means survival that is necessary you should you should know all that school education college edu- education now some people their job is exploration like you said moon sea antarctica whatever they want to explore that is their job government is paying them money for doing that so the government also does not want to remain uh, backwards other countries are progressing we must also progress it is necessary for them probably for you you are a housewife sitting in your house not necessary so there is no need for you to know so everybody has different needs for knowing the illusion we are talking about the illusion here because in the non illusion there is nothing to know you are already that you are the experiencer and it is it has no qualities there is nothing to know what is necessary to know here then i am not the body or any other experiences that keep happening in the world mind body that much knowledge is um, required for and also not for all only for a seeker ordinary people they don't need these uh, spiritual knowledge so my suggestion is you write down where on a paper what do i need to know i am a seeker okay self knowledge i need to know these things i need to know how to improve my mind how to progress forward how to ev- evolution spiritual evolution these things i need to know write it down as a person in the society i need to know some things to do do, do my job suppose you are you run a shop or you run a business you need to know only that much as a wife or as a daughter or something like this you need to know how to manage that relations this much general knowledge so write down that which is necessary to know and that's all you you will get your answer there is third thing also sometimes because we are humans we are not satisfied with the basics if we have curiosity we have uh, uh, hobbies suppose you are in the field of music now you you will try to know things in the music who sang this song how to sing this how to play this instrument that is another uh, dimension of humanity that we are not limited to survival only there can be more so on the second page you write down what are the most interesting things for me because everybody will have different interests so write down all that i like to read the books so i need to know which book is published now and so on you see or i like to play the sport cricket yes then you need to know who is playing who is winning how to play this how to get into the tournament and and the teams and so on so uh, that will become another third part which we should need which we should know anything beyond that is probably not necessary but there is infinite amount and that knowledge of the illusion is also illusion so it is a play if you enjoy it you do it otherwise actually not necessary for a seeker okay jaran has a question we already know that whatever we learn in education system maximum is garbage for the professional purpose i am doing such type of work every day can how can give clarification to myself yes very good question whatever happened was not in your control the education you got was the advice of your parents isn't it because as a child nobody is capable of judging whether this education is good or not so they are they do whatever is told to them that is the good thing no problem if you don't do the education also then you will become illiterate <laughs> that is worse than being fed whatever they feed you in the education system isn't it so it is necessary <laughs> in today's society even this garbage is necessary because you won't get the job once you get the job that job is also not your choice because whatever you were educated in you will get that job sometimes we will choose because after 18 years or 20 years the little bit of intellect is active that oh i don't like uh, medicine i'll go in to engineering i don't like arts i'll go to science something like this this much but their choice is very limited whatever the government people are teaching they need to learn that otherwise nobody will give you job because it's not the recommended institution or not famous college so so very limited choice so you do that also no problem then there you have some choice in jobs actually you will get a job in the field where you are you have a degree first thing but there is a choice there that you can get into different kinds of jobs 
or you can leave the job you can do your business in the business nobody will ask you for a degree that is the good thing so whatever happened till date was not in your control i'll say that it is not even we can't we cannot even think about control when we go through the society once you become self sufficient probably you are now once you are standing on your own feet you are secure you feel secure that now there is no need to do whatever people are telling me i can do my own so there you can do your own now now you think that whatever i learned in school is not enough so you start learning whatever you want to learn now now because you are secured financially and then you can take another job whatever you like do that now you have the experience you have the intelligence you you have the freedom these things were absent previously so this is the right time like you joined our program you took the path of knowledge you decided to come in spirituality nobody told you it was your own freedom decision free will same way you can fix your professional life and educational life also now no no i don't want to go through all that 20 years of education and then experience of another 20 year no that is not correct if you want to educate yourself you can do it very quickly you can become an expert in another subject within one year two years and so on you see because you went into the system that is why it took 20 years first they teach you a b c d 1 2 3 4 then language then this and then then they teach a lot of nonsense also like you said history this king did this to this king now that's totally useless isn't it <laughs> the capital of this country is this this country produces sugar this country produces gold what do we need to do with that data totally useless so that, that's why it took 20 years but you pick your subject now start learning it it will take you one or two years then you will say no no i cannot shift my job it will take a lot of experience no no continue in, in your job in your free time do something in the other field which you learned and as soon as you become expert in the other it will take 5 years probably it takes 5 years to become expert in something and then you can shift to your new profession it will be easy what maximum can happen is that you will fail you will not learn or you will not get job so no problem you are already self sufficient you are already standing on your feet so no harm was done but you can try now you are free so express your freedom you don't need to become like a billionaire or millionaire or highly successful person no you want to become free that's all you want you don't want this job you don't want this education yes don't take leave it all and that same thing is about relations when you were married probably hopefully nobody is married here but <laughs> suppose somebody gets married it is not because they wanted it it was imposed on them no no i married no no but the concept of marriage and all relations and all having children and a family was given to you you were not born with that so if you have made a mistake you can fix it now you can fix everything which went wrong in your life so we start from knowledge if that all was wrong then what is right there is your spiritual initiation on the path now you will start coming to know what went wrong like you came to know the education was wrong <laughs> this clarification you will get now that why am i born here what was the purpose of my birth here now it will become clear so slowly you will start doing the right thing the right action then you will get the right fruit and the right fruit is always happiness and freedom bliss happiness freedom liberation this will be the fruit of a spiritual life spiritual life does not mean that you go and sit in a cave or in a temple or do this kind of ritual that ritual wear all these clothes no that is not spiritual life spiritual life is living as per your wish living as per your freedom liberation whatever you like so she is saying i want to know more about spirituality after death what happens from where i come such type of basic question i want to know sure you will know that is why you you have joined this path of knowledge you will know only one thing here that there is no death and whatever happens is like, like a dream the dream changes i can tell you right now this much but obviously on the path of knowledge we demand evidence without evidence we don't say something but you are asking i'm giving you a hint of what is coming you will know only this much that there is no death and it is all a dream so the dream will change the body will change your 
environment will change and from where i come no there is no coming and there is no going it is eternally present the experiencer which is you because you have written the word i i means the witness experiencer it is eternally present you will know all these things because you are properly on a path so these are not basic questions actually they are advanced questions but you will know continue in the program and when i tell you that look this is like this you are eternally present there is no death and all if you don't understand at that time you can ask me again that in that lesson you told that i am eternally present but i don't understand then i'll try to clear your doubt so you have already taken the path now all the answers will come nothing to worry they are in the coming chapters and what about the experience yes the experience will also come <laughs> you what happens after death can be known directly through the experience only after death but do you want to know it now no nobody wants to know it now they want information but the information is not called knowledge the knowledge is there is no death what happens actually will take place after death then you will come to know what is death you can come to know you can know now what is death that much is possible and uh, then i am telling you right now there is no such thing no death no birth for you we call it highly curious but because you are on the way you can sleep peacefully it is all given now you came to the guru now that is the last action that is the last action a seeker can do after that the guru will give you everything spend your time in satsang satsang means our meeting the rest of the time you sleep peacefully because this is the last this guru is last this path is last this knowledge is last there is nothing more to know after this here all the answers are there now some people will say no that is a very big claim <laughs> yes right now it will look like a claim but as you pass the program as you pass the exam you start your practices this thing will become truth for you this claim will become true for you why it looks like it is totally marketing <laughs> advertisements yes because there is no experience in you you have not gone through any kind of spiritual program probably you have done something meditation or something but these are childish things path of knowledge is final you will know this through your own experience yes all the answers are here what can happen is probably you won't understand them immediately and that is why we have meetings that is why guru is needed because guru has done all this struggle Okay, Anup is asking, how do you find guru for a certain path? So just let the guru find you, because I have certain desire to explore the occult path too. You will need to reach out to the guru. Then the guru's job is either accept or reject. How does the guru find the student? He checks who whomever is coming to the guru. The guru checks whether this person is suitable for my path or not. He has the qualities or not. Whether his basic needs are met or not. Uh, so the guru. chooses the student accepts or rejects but the student readiness is not there to choose the guru so what you do you approach the gurus he said how do how do you find guru on certain go to the guru who, who is nearest to you that belongs to that path and they talk to your guru talk to that guru you can decide to accept or reject also but guru will never come to you student goes to guru the well will not come to the thirsty person the thirsty person goes to well if you don't understand well uh, it means water the water does not come to thirsty person thirsty person goes to water so you will need to go to gurus go visit 10 or 20 such gurus talk to them tell them your desire to learn these things that things and they will tell you these are my conditions this is my ashram rule this is my sadhana this is my practice you are too young or you are too old like this you are a man or a woman like this they discriminate they have their own rules every guru is different finally you will settle on one for everything else you search you also search for guru like you search for jobs first you apply to your nearest company the best you think is best if they reject you you apply to some somebody else then you change two or three jobs then you settle on one job same about partners suppose you want to buy a shirt t-shirt you go to the shop the, the shop will not come to you although there is home delivery but you will need to go to website then you choose through the shirts 
try some things which one fits me then you buy it same process and the guru will find you yes and then you sh- once you reach the guru you should surrender that whatever is your decision is the last decision then the guru will check sometimes the guru will keep you that okay you came to my ashram now you stay here for one month we'll see and in that one month he will check you like the doctor checks the patient so the guru checks your mind and body and uh, then he decides what to do so this is how the guru finds the student but the first step is taken by the student you will need to search here and there like you did pray for it that is another thing praying simply is means you are expressing your desire to get the guru to learn something express this loudly as a prayer and uh, search now it is very easy you go to google and search because everybody is on internet it is not like old days when you had to go to himalayas to find the gurus in every uh, cave and every temple every mat and ashram it used to take 5 or 6 years simply to reach the final guru but now it should take i think 5 or 6 months if you start now 5 or 6 months you will find the proper teacher i think questions are over for today so we'll conclude today's meeting and i'll see you in the next meeting all the best for the program namaste